Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of Time for BL. This is the podcast where we review movies, TV shows, novels, and comics, all in the boys love genre. I get through this recording without any issue, issues <laughs> issues or stalling or anything. I am going to be so happy because usually I have to wait till like really late at night to record, but oh, it is eight o'clock and here I am getting ready to watch Big Dragon episode three. Ignore the background noise. I have laundry in the, um, in the, um, I was about to say laundry in the dishwasher. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In the dryer i have laundry in the dryer and i need to get that done because i also have a life but big dragon episode three i am so excited remember if you want to watch the cut version it's available for free on youtube hopefully in your region i'm watching the uncut version on ite i'm gonna try and remember to post the playlist for um the cut version on the wordpress blog that's where i have been um posted it so make sure you check out the wordpress blog as well let's see what i'll talk about this time and yeah let's go episode three <laughs> he, his boss almost saw the clip and um yeah business management's dad is dating someone who um i realized i was like stuck on who is this actress i've seen her before who's this actress i've seen her before she was on dear doctor i'm coming to you um the the one that i was like ooh that ending was no <laughs> uh, that one um the, with the grim reaper and the doctor that can see the grim reaper which i actually i really when i say i really wanted to feel, fall in love with that one but go listen to that review um but yeah she actually played dr pacon's um mom in that so the one who died from cancer <laughs> Not, not the doctor her <laughs> that from cancer but yeah she played the mom in that and that's where i recognized her from so when we left off on big dragon um yai was trying to steal um boy with the dragon tattoos big was trying to steal dragon's um phone out of his bag and stole his bag and we see that he's about to get caught um in the uh preview trailer so let's see what is taking place at this pool party as he comes out of the pool and swishes back his hair like a mermaid and yai walks around in his animal print shirt and they're both wearing animal necklaces one's a dragon one's a tiger Ooh! and of course dancing with the devil by banky is playing oh, bank is banky bank damn it <laughs> i can't I, I love him i love the song his voice is amazing it is it is amazing and I can't get the ball gag scene out of my mind. Anybody else like that? I don't think the ball gag scene was in the YouTube version, was it? Because, oh, God, I said I was going to watch to see, but I got kids. I really want to know what Yai, like, Yai really doesn't come off as smart whatsoever. There's nothing intelligent. Or how, mm, his dad had to have been paying his paying the college to keep him as a student like this man is not smart because one he steals the bag to get the phone okay cool you think you know the passcode to get in you think you know you're gonna just guess his passcode and you're just gonna run the phone underwater like a lot of phones now are pretty waterproof enough they're not fully there but you can still get your information from the sim card and stuff after he, he's not intelligent and again not intelligent because the dude took the whole memory card with the entire video he has the memory card oh he stomped on it to crack the screen and then put water on it i guess maybe but still there's a memory card sir Oh, wow. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I had to pause. I wasn't sure where that was going to go. I wasn't sure because he like, okay, he 
pointed out how dumb <laughs> business management is. And boy, the dragon tattoo is like, um, so you're saying I can leak the video anywhere, right? And business management apologizes. I should call them by their actual names. Yeah, I am Mancorn. But <laughs> he apologizes. And, um, <laughs> and, <laughs> but with the dragon tattoo, <laughs> pulls him to the back and was like, if you consent, sit down sit down and my man sat down <laughs> Yai was on his knees <laughs> and he said call me boss and he said yes boss <laughs> he just said yes sir <laughs> what would you like sir <laughs> and boss said who said you could talk ooh I, mm, let's see where this goes. <laughs> I was, I was wondering. I was wondering if there was going to be some turbulence. That's what I call it now, turbulence. Um, but no, no, there was no turbulence. There was a bottle. But he was going for it. That was a lot of teeth, though, because he... Let me go back. <laughs> was there a lot of... Yes, I'm going back to see if there was a lot of teeth. <laughs> that is what I'm going back for. I am judging him based on if he bit the bottle. Oh, I actually can't. Uh, I can't tell. <laughs> oh, no. Nope, nope, teeth are touching. <laughs> what was it? That? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Gotta check the bottle for bite marks. <laughs> So Mancorn to Yai or <laughs> sorry, um, but with the dragon tattoo to business management to his favorite spot by the airport. And they had a deep conversation about how he wants to be his friend with benefits. He doesn't say that part, but uh, I, I, I think that's what he meant. <laughs> that's what that's what I heard. <laughs> I, I was a firefly. I, I overheard everything. I was there. Um, so he says he wants to be his friend and um at least and after he's finished with his internship he promises to delete the video i think this is all a ploy to get yai mainly because this is a bl so i expect some scheming ways but he also takes him somewhere to get dessert so they're getting dessert together so this is a date they they, they uh met up at the first location, which was a party, afterwards they went somewhere quieter so they could have an intimate conversation. And now they're out eating dessert. Date. <laughs> it is a date. <laughs> and now he's even telling him, next time, bring it to the bar with you. Whoa. Setting up their next date. <laughs> Another 2022 BL talking about marriage. Oh my gosh. So, yes, this has been the trend. If you've been watching all the new bls this has been pretty much the trend everyone is talking about marriage bad bunny talked about marriage cutie pie talked about marriage um oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh I, I, it's leaving my head vice versa <laughs> vice versa talked about marriage <laughs> oh my god i blanked on that for a second i was like what am i trying to say a lot of the current BLs are bringing up marriage and how um, uh, same-sex couples should be able to also sign a marriage certificate. And of course, that's amazing. I'm glad to see more and more um, talking about it and bringing it up more um, as a part of the story because a lot of them, they just end with, and we're together. And now more and more ending with, and we want to get married. <laughs> And uh, let's get married and uh, let's get engaged and <laughs> and actually seriously talking about the fact that in Thailand you can't get married. Like uh, I'm loving it. Yes. So another one talking about marriage. Keep it coming. I just thought of the other one. Um, My Secret Love. I finally watched My Secret Love. I wasn't going to watch My Secret Love because I didn't like the advert for it. I was like, this is 
this seems like a really bad show but then the ad, the ad that i saw and but then i saw people talking about it and talked about how great it was so i went and i watched it and my secret love also has not they don't just talk about marriage they have a whole dang ceremony <laughs> and oh my gosh yes we want more <laughs> it doesn't have to be though we we can get the ones that don't end in marriage as well that that's not a big deal but because of what is of course um with the climate and everything in thailand i understand why they're doing it because they're trying to gain support for the bill if i should look into it is that bill still in (sighs) that's research i don't want to do research i'll do research all right so i need to remember to post my sources but right now i'm looking at an um a article from the diplomat um it is from september of this year um and it's taught its title is can marriage equality become a reality in thailand and it's written by mukdapa yangyan pradorn and sipachai kun kunuwang kunuwang um and it talks about the fact that in june um it was the first pride parade in thailand in almost 16 years it talks about the fact that since 2011 um thailand was one of the only nine asian signatories um to a 2011 declaration of lgbtq rights thailand has always been hailed as a haven for um lgbtq plus individuals the community um but their um track record as far as within the country has not always been great there's four draft bills three of them give sort of protections but the real one that everyone is focused on because the other three are just civil partnerships and i don't know if you were civil partnerships are not enough because it doesn't actually cover everything it doesn't cover every single benefit um and it civil partnerships in history in other countries that have only had civil partnerships for same-sex uh couples have seen where family members have fought against it to like basically ignore the civil partnership and call them roommates um so civil partnerships doesn't always cover everything and doesn't give enough protection but marriage equality does so that is the what the fourth bill is the fourth bill is for marriage equality um that one was proposed by the move forward party and it's the strongest of the batch so that is the draft act for amendment to the civil and commercial code better known as the marriage equality bill it seeks to revise binary terms in the code to provide the fundamental right to marriage and family to everyone regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity so that is the one with the strongest i guess support um but there are four bills um that are there right now that the government can vote on well that they have to vote on and it can they can still fail but the hope is to see the marriage equality bill pass so i'm gonna make sure i post a link to that article um on the wordpress as well if anyone wants to actually go into that and look into that and see why so many shows as well are making sure this year they talk a lot about marriage equality um because that is what's going on in the government right now and they're trying to um get their audience to also show support and talk about it um to push the government to you know doing something and and putting it into law now let's get back to big dragon that brought me on that tangent huh it's interesting to me as well that the two of them are flirting back and forth while also going yeah you know when you were talking to girls <laughs> but they're flirting back and forth with each other and it's so cute does every show need a seatbelt scene <laughs> i've never had someone put my seatbelt on for me i'm gonna let my husband know he needs to put my seatbelt on for me from now on so we can have that romantic stop and staring each other's eyes moment while my belly growls because i need to use the bathroom or still hungry one one of the two one of the two (laughs) 
Okay, real quick, because I am at this bathroom scene now. So <laughs> before I get into the bathroom scene, let's talk about everything that happened before. So, um, Mankon and um, Yai were in the car together, and they had a very sweet moment. Um, where I really was wondering, yo, is the dragon trying to get into that big, big room? <laughs> Is boy with the dragon tattoo trying to get into business management's uh, condo? Does he want to see that bathtub that's too damn massive? That's wasting water every bubble bath? That has to be a hot tub. There's no way that's a bathtub. <laughs> so he um, goes, Mankon goes and buys uh, dinner for Yai. Um, and Yai thanks him for the food, thanks him for the ride home. And uh, I'm like, wow, they're feeling each other now. All right, we're getting into it. They had a nice little date. They're both smiling. They had fun. And then, bam, next scene is Yai sitting on his bathroom and a girl in, that is not leather. (laughs) Hold up. That is not leather. That is latex. Let me double check. That's not leather. One second. So she's in latex. Now, why I'm confused. (laughs) Is because I thought he was into leather for some reason. And I realize now I'm 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 prejudging. Or maybe they got it wrong. No, no, I'm I'm judging. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, he he likes he likes to be pulled by a leash. He's a, he's into leather. But she's in latex, so he's into this dom stuff. Like I just I was wondering if he's into into it or if he's like a Oh, I'm going to get someone drunk <laughs> and do this to them. But no, he actually is into it. It's it's not just what he does to date rape people. Ooh, she whipped him. Okay. He, he likes to be whipped. <laughs> uh, it is this girl. Okay. So, oh, all right. Hold up. <laughs> all right. So I'm get like... <laughs> where to start so (laughs) rolling back to episode one to end this episode so with when i saw that he had like his toys and stuff at the wall and everything at first i'm like oh he likes to be dominant he likes to rule and then um when they got down to it (laughs) i was like oh no he 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 wears the ball gag Hmm. well i found that out <laughs> in episode two, like, oh, he he wears the ball gag. My bad. <laughs> he the one um, getting dragged around, and then here we see Dot. Um, she is his dom, and she's whipping him and punishing him for not, you know, calling her in a while. And it's just all hitting me now. I'm like, wait. So what exactly was his plan with Mancon? Like, was he planning on using? everything on him and then it just got switched because they were drunk or was he always planning for himself because he's into it this is i'm just gonna watch (laughs) but then i also have to remind myself that yeah is an idiot he is an idiot and poor dodge he came all this way like all right yeah let's do this and you telling her i'm not in the mood wasting her time I know everybody likes um, the bodyguards because they're this comedic relief, but for me, they're just so annoying. And they're annoying because they're inept. Like, the bodyguards on Kim Porsche are silly and, you know, they do a lot of goofy stuff. But when when it's time to work, they get serious and they're not messing around. Arm is watching movies with Tankoon and running around and being silly. Then he's in the back of the truck with a Uzi. Like you, you they they actually know how to get serious. These two are just always messing around and always being funny, and I just can't get into them because of that. I guess it's just I want to like them, but I I'm just like they're okay. I'm not like oh, I love these guys. I'm like yeah, oh, they're cool. They they make the story continue. Did they really add a ghost? Has this become a supernatural drama? <laughs> oh, you had a joke. <laughs> oh my god, they really added a ghost maid. <laughs> oh my god, and then she'll never.
never show up again. No, no, no more ghosts. So they try to steal the phone because they don't know there is no phone to steal. And get haunted by a ghost man. Which, by the way, the way they shot that was awesome. I freaking, I freaking love that. Uh, <laughs> the ghost maid who we'll never see again. Yai is just a phone bad luck. Because so far, two phones in water because of him. <laughs> I blame him. All right, so the end of that is we're finding out that Mungkorn's, um dad and a friend have decided they want their kids to get married. So they're having an engagement ceremony and have surprised them with this information. After credit scene, let's watch this. And they both now have phones and all they're doing is playing games instead of bodyguarding, of course. They didn't put the song at the end of the episode. Yes. They did not put the song at the end of the episode. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, Yai bought a phone for Mancorn. Mancorn, um, didn't show up and he found out Mancorn went back to his hometown. His hometown. Um, so he gives the phone to Pong. So, pa, um, Pong and Park now have matching phones. And uh, he gets a call from a scammer, which is another thing that a lot of uh, shows have been doing now, like showing calls from scammers and how to identify a scam call. And one of the reasons why it works is it kind of is like to remind the audience as well. Hey, scam calls exist. These are the shady things they say. But anyway, he doesn't hang answer the scam call and he gets another call from a number that he doesn't know. And he decides not to answer this one at all. Except that one was Mancorn calling him. Now, as we know, next week we're going to see that Mancorn is engaged <laughs> against his will. And um, I guess this is going to be his conflict. Him not wanting to be engaged and his dad wanting him to be. Because it looks like the mom was not involved in it at all and was not feeling it. Both moms looked like, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> So moms are not on board. That's always a good sign in shows when the mom or when one parent isn't on board because that means that the main character is going to have someone to talk to about it and to help them fight against the other parent and go, no, it's not happening. Um, so I, th I think we're going to see some of that. And I also see that there's um, someone else entering the arena, Nine. Um, are they, were they in a relationship? Hmm, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Nine and uh, Yai had something going on before. And of course, I can't remember her name, but that girl that Yai um, had been pursuing, um, she also comes back in uh, the next episode as well. She's been gone for a while, kind of. Um, so <laughs> she wasn't in this episode at all. Um, so she's coming back uh, next episode as well. So I'm very excited to see what next week is going to bring especially with as we get more of Mancorn's storyline with his parents because we didn't get to really see him with his parents except for the beginning we got to we got to see a little interaction between him and his younger sister um and we've been having uh Yai's reaction um interactions with his um, dad from the first episode so now we're gonna get to see what it's like for boy with the dragon tattoo and his parents too so can't wait for that um to to see where that storyline leads we didn't get the dad in this episode so i'm hoping we do get yai's dad in the next episode as well um because of course there has to be him growing and learning that it is okay for his father to finally move on we, we're gonna get that as well um and maybe even him getting closer to his dad's girlfriend who knows uh yeah so it's it's big dragon i am excited for next week i want i look the toxic boys deserve each other let's let's keep putting the toxic characters together they deserve each other oh boy both trying to mm. anyway um, yeah, I can't wait to see next week's episode. I definitely want to see where this goes. I, I'm kind of sad because it looks like Da is leaving because I would have loved to see more of her and to show like how she and Yai have like a friendship and then in the bedroom, 
their relationship is different and how they have compartmentalized those two relationships um, for the friendship that they have. Um, I would love to see more of that interaction between them. But she's saying that she's moving back to Phuket. So maybe we won't get that, it, it feels like. Um, but hopefully we do. Hopefully, hopefully we do get to see Da and Yai again. Because I actually really enjoy them together. Um, so yeah, that is it for this episode of Time for BL, the review on Big Dragon Episode 3. I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, and good night, whatever it is, wherever you are. <laughs>